Hey everybody, I'm Joe. And I'm Eric Bailey, product manager at Alliance. Hey Eric, what is this thing right behind us here? What we're standing here in front of today is the all new Delta line at Alliance. And this one in particular is our 292 RL. All right, Eric, what is, how big is this thing? We're at 33 feet, 11 inches on this floor plan. How much does it weigh? It's right around 7,500 pounds. Nice. Is there anywhere specific that you want to take us first? Uh, what I'd like to do is start on the inside. Um, we've got a lot of features to talk about on the outside, but you know, floor plan is the king of the buying decision. So I think we should check out the inside first. Okay, awesome. And before we go inside though, there's going to be chapters linked down in the description. Click the chapter for exterior if you want to go there first. Otherwise than that, let's go check out the inside. All right, now we're in the interior of the 292 RL. Eric, what is unique about this floor plan? Well, I think what's most unique about this floor plan is that we took a lot of our success from our Paradigm brand, which started Alliance, and we, which is based off customer feedback, and we brought a lot of that into this travel trailer floor plan to really improve the overall space usage. Um, and I think it really uh, excels in the kitchen area too as well, which we did a lot of things different. All right, so you brought a lot of features from Paradigm in here. Why did we make that? Where did that come from? Uh, like I mentioned, it really came from our customer feedback from when we, you know, first started um, Alliance is getting, you know, fixing a lot of problems that were kind of easy to fix that just no one had actually looked at and, you know, made the unit better. Okay. Okay. So now let's get into some of the details. Where do you want to start? Uh, I think like, for example, right here in the kitchen, what you'll find on this floor plan is we have true flush floor slide outs and no carpet in the entire unit. And that's a big deal in the kitchen area. Typically, you're going to see a lip, you're going to see um, a raised up slide out, um, which, you know, isn't ideal when you're standing and trying to cook. Also, talk, speaking of cooking, um, we've improved the overall space of the slide out by a lot of times you'll see a large pantry that's kind of closing the area off, taking up a lot of countertop space. We've moved that out of the slide out and we've really opened up cooking space on both sides of the range in your cooktop there. Now let's move up a little bit. Where, what are we doing over here? So uh, in addition to that, we actually extended the countertop all the way into the uh, entertainment center. It helped actually increase our countertop space depending on how you want to use it. We have additional storage um, behind the TV, which you can use for an appliance, um, which is great use of space there. So also below the countertop, you also find something unique that we did uh, in our Paradigm brand, carried it down into Delta, is we have a pull out fireplace with hidden storage behind it. This area is great because it's something that's normally a dead space in other brands where we actually pull that extra storage out. So this looks like a lot of space. We could fit a lot of blankets, pillows, other knickknacks, things like that. So moving away from the entertainment area, what's next? I think another uh, good place to talk about would be our pantry. Uh, okay. I mentioned that we'd moved it out of the slide out. We'd actually had moved it next to the refrigerator on the other side, which actually increased the size of it overall. So All right, let's take go a take a look at, at it. Yep. You mentioned it's a large pantry and that's what we achieved by moving it out of the slide out. We were able to increase the overall size you typically are gonna see in this floor plan. It's a oversized pantry, it's got removable shelves and we actually have built in LED lights that are on a motion sensor that's really cool. As soon as you open the door, lights will turn on. You can get in there and use it for however you need. And see what you're gonna get. Cause I know when I'm uh, up at nighttime and I need to get my bowl of cereal, yeah. I don't wanna knock it over. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and also with doing the pantry, um, we were, able, we were able to incorporate this hutch layout too as well, which gives you extra countertop space. Um, we also have 110 outlets and USB charging ports there. So it's a good place to charge things as well. Uh, we have soft close hinges on all of our cabinet doors, um, which is a really nice feature. It's got a really good feel to it, a good touch. It's a higher end feature you're typically gonna find in you know, something like our Paradigm brand. Yeah, well. so you're telling me that in every single cabinet door inside of every Delta that we build, yes. you're gonna find soft close cabinets. Correct. Love yep. it. And then you got these great drawers. Uh, you know, one thing that I know Alliance loves is these are reinforced up to 90 pounds, right? Correct. Okay, so we can put up to 90 pounds in these drawers right here. And then you got lots of storage down here as well. So sounds like storage is the name of the game. Eric, what else is unique about this 292RL? One other unique thing we're able to do with space and as far as increasing storage and the ability to use it is to incorporate a pull-out trash can. It's a great feature to have. Uh, I think every camper can uh, appreciate that. And sometimes it's hard to find a place. So we've incorporated a place for it dedicated in every unit. Okay, so how did you guys come up? How did you, how were you able to fit a trash can underneath here and put it in different spots and different floor plans? Yeah, we looked at the area underneath the sink. Most floor plans, it's not utilized very well and it never has been. Um, what we did is we actually went to a side drain sink. Um, so we moved the P-trap and all the plumbing out from underneath the sink in that area to unlock that unused space. 
Yeah, and how convenient, because I know when I go RVing, and I know you're an avid RVer too, yep. where do you put your trash can? Right. And you guys thought of that, and it's it's a great feature to have. So what, what, what do you want to talk about next? Um, I think another great thing we'd be to talk about is the oversized windows that we have throughout the entire unit. All right, you know, when I'm sitting here looking around, I feel like I'm outside with all these windows. Yeah, definitely. It's something that we really focus on when designing Delta. Um, on this floor plan, you'll notice all around we have oversized windows and we have more windows than you're typically going to see. Uh, we have an extra window in our hallway into your bedroom. We've got a window in the kitchen that's a 48 inch window, four feet of window in the kitchen where you typically don't even see a window. But our goal was really to just, you know, kind of bring the outside in on that aspect, bring in a lot of natural light, um, you know, so you can really enjoy, you know, your camping experience as well, even when you're inside. Yeah, so what else? So it says atrium windows, and I know that's special to us here at Alliance. What are atrium windows? You know, atrium windows is just something that we we started early on. It's just putting in the biggest window possible. A lot of manufacturers try to put smaller windows in or the smallest they can get away with to save money. Um, we thought, you know, the opposite, you know, it's going to help maximize those, you know, fall or spring uh, trips when you want to have the windows open, not necessarily be running your air conditioner. Um, so it's getting that cross flow ventilation, the natural light inside the unit. Yeah, because unlike some other windows that only pop open like six inches, yep. we can slide these open and you got a full window that's open. Yeah, definitely. So the ability to open our windows and also on average, we're, we have about 30% more window coverage on a square foot level than most of our competitors just to kind of break it down too. Wow, that's impressive. I, I love the natural light coming in here. I know I've took I've taken my wife and kids into a Delta. We camped in one at the rally yep. and they loved it. There was a lot of light coming in. It felt really nice. Um, you know, what's another spot that you want to hit on that's unique to the 292RL? Another feature I'd like to talk about on Delta is the fact that we have two ACs and 50 amp service standard on Delta. The ACs that we use on Delta in addition are ultra quiet, ultra efficient ACs that can also be ran on 30 amp service. So you're telling me you can run two ACs off a 30 amp service? Yes, with our air conditioners that we use here on Delta and we also use them in our other brands, they can be ran on, you can run two ACs on 30 amp service. All right, so it's multi-system. So you're able to do 50 amp service if you have 50 amp at your campsite or 30 amp. Correct. Eric, what else do you want to hit on about this floor plan? Additionally in the living area, a couple other things I'd like to mention is we have a 50 inch TV that's standard. We have residential can lighting in our ceiling, backlit toe kicks and accent lighting. We also have an 80 inch sleeper sofa with hidden storage on each side. That's awesome. So Eric, that was a lot of features in the 292 RL and I feel like we've only been in the living area so far. So before we head outside, is there anything else that you wanna talk about? Definitely, we covered a lot out here, but I think there's more to talk about in the rest of the unit. So I'd say we head to the rest of the unit. Perfect. So in the bathroom of the 292, some of the big features that you're gonna notice, we have an extra large stainless steel sink. We have a dual medicine cabinet, which gets you that extra storage. And a big feature we also do is a porcelain toilet with a soft closed toilet seat. So in the bedroom of this Delta, some of the unique things that you're gonna find is we have nightstands on each side of the bed, which actually have hidden storage underneath epoxy countertops that we also do. So a nice little touch there. Our overhead storage is dual function storage. You can actually hang your clothes in there with the closet clothes rod we have, or we also have a removable shelf too as well. So you can use it for either a dresser or for hanging clothes. Another nice thing on the Delta bedrooms is we're gonna have a 60 by 80 full residential queen bed that's gonna be standard on every floor plan. So additionally, underneath that queen size bed, we actually have a sliding door to help maximize the storage. On this 292, we also have an extra wardrobe closet, which is gonna be great for that additional storage um, and two full size pullout drawers as well. So hey Eric, when you're laying in bed, how do you charge your phones? We thought about that. Um, and what we've added on each side of the bed is USB charging ports, 110 outlets, and we are actually also have light switches as well to turn on your accent lighting. Um, and in addition to that, we also have reading lights on both sides of the bed. All right, so that was the interior of the 292 RL. Before we go outside, make sure you give us a like on this video, click subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on our other social medias at Alliance RV. Eric, 
Let's take them outside now. Let's go. So what's behind the door in the front of this trailer? Well, there's a lot to talk about up here, but one of the first things you're gonna notice is the size. Um, we were able to accomplish 62 cubic feet of pass-through storage, which is unheard of on a travel trailer. So there's 62 cubic feet of storage up here, but there's some things going on that you don't normally see in a travel trailer. What else is happening? Yeah, so one, one of the next things a lot of people notice is, is we've got a lot of switches and things going on right here. And what we've done is we've done dual convenience centers on both sides. We brought a lot of the things that being outside camping and using this space a lot more efficient and easier for the customer. All right, so what's on this side of the convenience center? So what we have here, um, this unit in particular, we actually have two of them because it has two awnings. Uh, we actually have outside awning control. We have a three-way switch, which allows you to control your awning from the inside and on the outside. Uh, makes it easy for when you're, you're leaving the campsite and you want to put the awning in, um, or you're just trying to make sure you don't hit a tree or hit an obstacle when you're uh, putting your awning out. Exactly, you never know what you're going to get into, yep. but what I'm really noticing is what's up here. Definitely. What is this? So what we've also done is we've incorporated a full-size six-foot folding table on every Delta floor plan. We have a dedicated spot above where it actually slides into. Um, and the, the, again, feedback we got from this is, is everyone takes a camping table um, and it's really not the most convenient thing to store. Most people put it at the bottom of the storage compartment, pack everything on top. And when you get to your campsite, one of the first things you do is get your table out, get your grill out, and you wanna get cooking. So, um, so what we've done is made it so you can do that much more quickly and efficiently with adding that and giving you a storage space for it too. Very convenient and sounds like a lot of customer driven features that you've implemented here in the pass through. Yep. One other small little thing we've also done is we've actually incorporated a USB charging port on this side as well. Nice, and it looks, just so you guys know, there's A and C charge types there. What's on the other side of the pass-through? Why don't you guys come take a closer look with me? So some more things that we've done unique over here is that we've actually added another three-way switch. This switch will actually give you the capability of controlling your slide out right from this off door side. What that's gonna do is gonna make it super convenient when you're getting to your campsite and trying to get everything set up. Additionally, we have a temperature controlled spray ports. What that means is this mixer valve right here controls three spray ports across the entire unit where you're gonna get hot and cold water. Another cool thing that we've done on Delta is it kind of has a fifth wheel style pass through storage that you'll notice. We've actually incorporated an access panel that you can remove. Behind that access panel, one of the first things you're gonna notice is we actually have our water pump moved to the front of the unit. Normally you're gonna find this buried underneath this cabinet inside the unit, somewhere hard to get. We've moved it up here for easy service, easy access, easy winterization. In addition, you'll also find our 40 amp charge controller, which runs the 200 watt solar panel that is standard on every Delta. All right, so you, we got that huge 62 cubic foot pass-through storage that has dual convenience center and a lot of features. Now it looks like we're at the back of the trailer. What's special about the rear of the Deltas? When you get to the back of Delta, we have some unique features you typically don't find. Um, one of the first things you'll notice is we have an oversized ladder. What made us come up with this ladder is, is we wanted to improve their overall ladder, make it sturdier, make it stronger, easy to go up to. But we actually increased the overall width of this ladder to 18 inches, which is the standard width for a towel bar. So it gives it an easy, convenient place for you to you know, hang your towels, your beach towels, the swimsuits, anything like that when you're camping. Behind your ladder, you're also gonna find a spray port. This spray port also has hot and cold water like I mentioned before. That's great, especially if you have like dogs or something and you wanna keep the mess away from your campsite. Yeah. Off back is a great spot for that. Definitely, well, if you got dogs or like I mentioned, beach towels, you get back from the beach, or it's in sand off, all that good stuff. Just the convenience of having that back here and just trying to think about, you know, how our customers are using this unit. Moving on to a two inch hitch receiver standard on every Delta, which is gonna allow you to carry extra cargo and bikes on Delta safely. Also, I know that one of the key features at Alliance is we don't like to pigeonhole you into a backup camera system. So you guys, yeah. Delta also has the hole up there to let you put any backup camera system you want, right? Definitely, we've pre-wired every Delta so that you can install whichever camera system you would like. Love it, now let's go on to the campsite of the trailer. All right. What else about the campsite do you want to talk about before we let these great folks go? So let's talk about the roof. On the roof, you're going to find the two air conditioners we talked about earlier, our 200 watt solar panel that's standard on every Delta. We have our Wi-Fi prep wine guard antenna, and we also have our PVC roof membrane. Eric, that's a ton of features that we got on the roof of these Deltas. But since we're on the campsite, these folks want to know what is special about this side of the trailer. 
Something that's unique on the campsite that I'd like to talk about is the fact of how many campsite windows we have over here. We have eight total windows on this side of the unit, which is unheard of on a travel trailer. Um, one other thing I'd like to point out is our awning coverage. We have 22 feet of awning coverage on this unit. We try to maximize the entire length of the unit um, for your awning coverage, which is really important when you're camping. Well, that's great, especially for if you have a hot day with the sun coming down and you have 22 feet of awning coverage. So Eric, that was a lot that we just covered on the 292 RL. Is there anything else you'd like to add? One thing I'd like to add is uh, I'd like to welcome everyone to comment below. Any feedback that you have, any comments, anything that we can do. Um, we do watch it, we do monitor it, and that is part of what helped make Delta so great. And a lot of the features that we have is that customer feedback. I love it. Guys, thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions, like Eric said, comment. Also, go check us out on our other socials at Alliance RV, and you can always learn more by going to AllianceRV.com. We hope you guys join the Alliance soon. Take care.